Hey, welcome to my kitchen. In today's episode, we are gonna learn how to cut a watermelon. As millennials, I feel like we don't know how to do these things. And I myself did not know how to cut a watermelon once. First off, you're going to need a knife. And then you're gonna need a chopping board. Preferably with like little nooks so that it catches the juices. How to pick a watermelon 101. You have to pick one with like this yellow thingamajig. It's kind of counterintuitive because you think it's like spoiled. That's how you can tell it's sweet. I don't have any cute containers. Do I? Oh, get a cute container. Check. First, cut the end so that it has something to stand on. And you cut the other end so that, I don't know why you cut the other end, you just do. So that you could see like where to cut, you know? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place it on the, the butt side and you're gonna cut right along like, like here, you know? And like go down. Ta-da! And you just do that all around. Let's test our theory that having a yellow spot makes it sweet. Is it watermelon season yet? Ooh, but I did see cherries at the market. At the market. You said at the market. At the... I saw cherries at QFC. No, it was Fred Meyers. Just do it all around. Chop them my watermelon. This is how you chop your watermelon. Now, I'm gonna get the rest of the bits on the other end. And you just trim it off. I feel like Fruit Ninja. Oh, does it violate the YouTube rules? And then you cut it into little squares. Excuse me, Water Malones. Post Malone, Water Malone. That was not funny. And now for the taste test. Hmm. Maybe let's cut into like the middle. Okay, here's a middle piece. Ten out of ten. Theory checks out. Mmm. Now you know how to cut a watermelon. It's featured me leaving you guys with a pro tip, and that is to eat your watermelons with a squeeze of lemon or lime juice. I don't know what it does to it, but it's game changer. 